Right, I've come down to Ashness Gate Jetty to get some minimalistic images. Why not come with me? You can hear me above the roar of the water. Well, good evening, and you find me by Derwent Water. There's been quite a lot of rain and the lake is very high, so I've come down to Ashness Gate Jetty, um, which I believe is probably underwater to try and get some minimalistic images from there. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So we'll wander down to the lake and we'll see how we get on. So we'll see you shortly. Right, well, we're down at the jetty now and I was hoping that there might be some sort of sunset but looking at the clouds at the moment there isn't. But as you can see this is just what I wanted, that it's actually underwater but not too far underwater so hopefully if we put a polarising filter on we can, um, we'll be able to see the jetty through it. So hopefully we can get some good images. I'm not going to walk to the end because I'm not quite sure how stable it is when it's underwater. But we'll get the camera set up, we'll try and come up with some good images. So yeah, this is brilliant. As I've said on other videos, I haven't really managed to photograph the jetty since it was renewed following previous floods when it was damaged. So yeah, we'll see how we get on and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've come up with our composition and I'll show you the back of the camera. At the moment we're doing a very long exposure. You can see there it's counted up to um, 40 seconds. This is a six minute exposure. So we've done some a sort of standard one and then some about uh, 20 seconds and we're just trying an extra long one, see what difference it makes. And that's, that's quite a high position. What I might do is I'll come down here and maybe do a, a slightly lower one and see what we can get doing, doing that. But we're, we're doing the high one at the moment. We'll see how that comes out. We'll maybe do some low ones and then um, and that's probably it. So yeah, we'll get these done and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, having done, captured some images with the tripod at, at full extension, we've lowered it down to get some a different perspective and we're doing, I think I said earlier that we were doing um, a six minute exposure, it's probably about four and a half minutes that I recalculated as it was doing and thought six was a bit much, did one at five and it was a little bit bright so the rest I've done at, at four and a half minutes. So. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll go home and we'll process the images and we'll maybe show you some of the processing before we uh, disclose the image on, on the screen. So that, that's what we'll do. And anyway, we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, we're off back to the van now. And that was absolutely amazing, absolutely brilliant. There was nobody there, so I had the whole jetty to myself. The lake was calm and the, the jetty was underwater, but not too much. I have been there before when the lake is up to, almost up to the steps, which means the jetty is quite well underwater. So it was underwater, but it meant that um, you could see through, with a polarizer, you could see through the water. So that was quite good. So yeah, that's brilliant. I'm really pleased that I came. Obviously, this is just going to be a short video because basically there's only going to be one <laughs> real image and there's not much B-roll because parked relatively close. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoy that and we'll see you on the next video.